YouTube, what is going on? Crowder here, and I am bringing you guys a brand new video. Today's video is in the CDL world, the Call of Duty League. We're talking about some rumored rosters that are going on right now, and actually a rumored team that is taking the spot, considering the other rumor with the Dallas and Optic merge and all that stuff. That leaves technically one spot open for a team to buy in or something of the sort. So there's a bunch of rumors flying around right now in the CDL world that if that merge does happen, then obviously there's another team that's gonna be taking a spot in the CDL and that team is Washington CDL team. Once again, that is just a rumor, but that is what a lot of people are talking about around the Call of Duty world right now. So I figured we would make a video on it, talk about the roster, the reported roster that's supposed to be, you know, potentially their team and the rumors that are all surrounding that. And obviously get some of your comments below about what you think of the rumored roster, what you think the roster should be, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, let's get right into it. So yes, we are seeing the Washington CDL spot be rumored more and more, obviously, with the Dallas and Optic potential rumored mix merger, whatever. We have the Washington CDL team and the rumored roster, according to a bunch of these Intel accounts, is that it's going to be the Washington CDL team and it's going to be Method, Vivid, Paul X, and then some other players that are not obviously more in the core three. We don't really even know if this rumor is fully true, but that's what a lot of people are talking about. So I figured we would just talk about this roster. If it were to happen, what do you guys think? What do I think? And so on. So yeah, Methods, Vivid, and Paul X. And now, honestly, I actually like this a lot. And the reason why is I think Vivid is an incredible player. I think he's super, super underrated. I think he was awesome on Dallas. He was amazing on LA Gorillas. I think when the Gorillas dropped Vivid last year, you don't really know what happened behind the scenes of course but i think that was probably one of the biggest mistakes we saw all year i think vivid is someone that you hold on to your roster especially when you're a struggling roster you try and build around him in the future if you can and then obviously when they got rid of him and sent them to dallas dallas had a pretty good time with him they did pretty well not too much time to get the chemistry together maybe it's not the right mix of players and he was also replacing hook which is one of the best players in call of duty history in the sense of talent he is so goddamn good he's a world champion and multi fps champion so that was some big shoes to fill but yeah, Vivid is incredible. I love his play style. I love him as a player. I think he's really, really good. I've heard nothing but good things about people that have played with him and know him really well. And then you have Method as the AR and Paul X as another AR. I think this pair of two ARs is really, really good. They're both pretty consistent. Uh, you know, Methods will have more of the veteran leadership on this team now. Help the team get, you know, on the same page and all that. And then Paul X and Vivid could be a lot of the talent. I think what this team really, really needs would be like one more sub player that can match Vivid's pace and also help him out in the slaying category because no matter how good you are, you're you're going to need that SMG duo by your side to compete in this league. If you see all the best teams right now in the CDL, they always have that SMG duo because if one of those SMGs isn't playing too hot or they're baiting more or whatever it is, you have the other SMG to pick it up. So I personally think this team with someone like Vivid or someone as good as Vivid that can keep that pace and have that talent would be incredible. I don't really know who's available. I haven't been paying too much attention to all the free agents and who can be picked up and whatnot, but I definitely think there's probably some really, really good options out there. And I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Play GM mode right now. Let me see what you guys are talking about. Who do you want on this team? Do you think this is the right team? I would love to see what you guys have to say in the comments because I love engaging with those comments and, you know, kind of commenting back and forth and having a conversation with you guys down there. So let me know what you guys think. And also, I don't really know who the free agents are, so I'm sure you guys have a little bit more info on that. Let me know what you guys think on some of the free agents and who would fit this team in your opinion. But I definitely don't think it's a debate. If they get another AR, I think this team would suck because there would just be too much going on with ARs over there. I definitely think this team has a crazy amount of potential, though, if they get a good sub player. I think Methods and Paul X. Uh, Paul X is kind of versatile. He can definitely do both, in my opinion. But I think those two, you know, running up the AR role, Paul X being more of the flex, Methods being the main AR, and then going from there, I think this team can be really good. But at the same time, Methods has also ran a sub in his career and not been bad with it. So we'll see what they want to do. I think right now, if they get another sub that can match Vivid's pace, they're in a really, really good, uh, you know, potential team here. Obviously, we don't even know if the Washington CDL spot's happening. And of course, if it does happen, that would be pretty freaking cool. You know, another team there would be just something new in the CDL. But that's just something we're going to have to wait and see for a lot of these rumors to come true. And I think once a lot of these start getting more and more official, if they do get official, then I think you'll see like, you know, more moves, kind of like a domino effect. So yeah, this is the roster that we were talking about. I personally think they have a lot of potential. I think they're going to go really, really under the radar. And if they get a good sub player if this team can get the right coaching get on the same page and you know get it together they will be really good i think probably one of the biggest things in the cdl world nowadays is just doesn't really matter how talented you are as a roster it does matter and that's very important but it's also about bringing it together and having the right people to, you know to make everything click because there were some teams last year that had the talent that didn't just do good seattle's a really good example seattle had a lot of talent and were like last place in the league that just shouldn't happen and there's obviously a few excuses that people say for that but at the end of the day like 
that should ever happen. That team should have never been the last place team ever. So I think if they were to get on the same page here and avoid that kind of rut where like, you know, you just can't get anything to click as a team, I think they'll be really, really good. Honestly, just thinking about that now too, someone like Pristini match Vivid's pace, in my opinion, would actually be pretty good off the top of my head. And the reason I say that is that Vivid's really, really talented. He's a, he, you know, he's a main slayer. He's someone that can get the kills against the best of the best in the world. And Pristini can do the same thing, but Pristini is even so fast to the point where I think it would make Vivid shine even more. And Pristini's so selfless and he knows how to win. And I think very highly of him too. I've talked to him a lot uh, recently about this, like his mind for Call of Duty and he knows what he's talking about. He's a smart player. So even someone like him would actually help out a lot. So we'll see, but I don't know what the roster is going to be. Please, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to see all the general managers out there in the CDL world put some rosters together and tell me what you think of the recent news of just what's going on in the CDL world. I've been trying to stay as plugged in as possible to the roster mania, but also enjoy my off season and stay out of it as much as I can too. So we're playing that fine line. So let me know what you guys think. If you have any more news in the comments, please drop it there. I would love to have a conversation with you guys. Like this video if you guys want more CDL content. And as always, guys, it's been your boy Crowder, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.